Oh my god, I just realized that like the sunset in the background is actually like, it's actually a sunset! It's not just a, like a static little uh, picture stroke, a static little picture, a static image. It's actually a sunset, that's beautiful! Anyways... Hello. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways. Happy Tuesday and- Oh fuck shit, it's Thursday! <laughs> I don't know what's more cursed, the fact that I called it Joe's Day, or the fact that I was so appalled by the fact that I called it Tuesday. You get the day of the week wrong sometimes, it happens. I don't know why I made such a big deal out of it. Anyways. Cause that was very primal, like, fuck shit! <laughs> Anyways. Uh... Happy Thursday. That was a really big mouth of water, sorry. Happy Thursday! Uh... As you can see, we are here today not with um, Kingdom Hearts, even though I said it would be more Kingdom Hearts. But honestly, as I was getting ready to stream, I was like, God, we've been like, I mean, nothing wrong with it, but like three Kingdom Hearts streams in a row is a lot of Kingdom Hearts. And then I remembered, then I just, ca for some reason it popped into my head, like I, I really don't know why, but I remembered that I have this game, a Short Hike, I purchased it about a year ago, maybe? For like, what, five ninety nine, And uh, I just never played it, I literally never played it. And so I was like, let's fucking stream this game. I don't know the premise of it, really, other than it's a short hike probably. But <laughs> yeah, let's fucking do it. You got the last letter correct, so that's like 99% anyways. I got the last and first letter correct, you know? Tuesday and Thursday, they start with T, they have a U and end in day, so you know, basically the same. Anyways, hi, Sam. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? I love this game. Have fun. Thanks. Or thanks. <laughs> yeah, or I guess thanks to the have fun. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing it. Like, I was really excited to play it when I bought it uh, about a year ago. And then I truly just don't know why I never played it. But now we're here. So we hit X start. Goes well. Glad to hear it. Sampleton, why are you awake? It's, it's 11 p.m. Grr. Then, to be fair, 11 p.m. is not that late to be awake. I'm also usually up at 11. But if you're here until the very end of stream, yo, that's gonna be like 1 a.m. for you. You better leave part way through. Grr, get enough sleep. Grr, you have work tomorrow. Grr. No, it's only 8. Shh. Okay, well, it's 8 somewhere, but that also means it's 11 somewhere else. <laughs> but. Anyways, I'm doing alright myself. I, uh, got back from class about, um, just a little under an hour ago. I had dinner, uh, did the dishes, folded the laundry that I did this morning, and forgot to fold, or didn't have time to fold, and left in a big messy pile on my bed as I sprinted out the door. And now I am here. We are Bing Chilin. And there's a tissue on the floor. I'm gonna use my toes to pick it up and drop it in the trash. Nice. Poog din din. Yeah. Poog din din. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I just had some nice leftover, uh, like. What did I have it? What's it called? Uh, ravioli. Because <laughs> it's, uh. EG. But yeah. What did you guys have for dinner? If you've had dinner. <gasps> I love this sound. The like little bubble. Also, wait, let's... The game doesn't seem too loud. I don't have it, I don't, like, normally on most games I set the audio down a little bit. Like, to about 70%, so that it's not too loud. Um, we'll set it to this. But, I mean, this is a pretty therapeutic game, so the game, the, nothing, there should be no big su spikes in sound or anything whack, so... I never get tired of this view. I like easy, and I had salad, which is also easy. Nice! I had a sal side salad with my ravioli, too. I had I had a pretty fancy lunch earlier, though, because I love Thursdays because my schedule allows me to eat at home, because most other days, like, I'm out the door probably by 9 or 10-ish, um, and I go and ba get back until, like, 6, so I pack lunches, which is fine, but, like, uh... It just means I don't get to eat, like, fresh food for meals. And honestly, like, I'm just very much a person who, like, I'm not huge into doing meal prep. I used to, but not anymore. 
But um, I guess because of pandemic, I got used to being at home. I really like cooking my meals and then eating them. Um, and then not having too many leftovers if, like, avoidable, and then cook, yeah. Um, but yeah, I have to bring lunches on those days, but Thursday's really nice, because I don't have to actually leave the house until about 1, so I get to eat my lunch at home, which I really enjoy. So I had soba noodles. Beep boop, hey, Yon, how's it going? How you doing on this Thursday? Thursday! Anyways, what voice should we give this guy? I never get tired of this view. Claire. Okay. You're gonna have a great time here this summer. I think. It'll be good to get away from the city and take a break from everything else going on. Are you still awake? Mm hmm. Maybe. Hold on a little longer. We're almost at the ferry. Going, going good. How's it for you? I'm doing alright. I got back from class like an hour ago. You know, I had dinner. Did a couple of chores. Uh, yeah, I was a little pooped, honestly. I nearly forgot I had stream because, yeah, I was doing some pretty intensive thinking today. Yeah. As soon as I said that I started thinking about the thing I was thinking about earlier again. It was like a problem that I was trying to figure out. Anyways, oh. I'm watching Teen Titans. Oh yeah, what episode? Undertale text noises. Text noises. I'm trying to think. We need a different Undertale voice. Okay, I can swim. Found a shell. I love the jump. I can kind of fly. No, it's just repeat jumping. Okay. Oh, the swimming feels really good. Um. How do I open a menu? Oh. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna turn, like, the sound effects down. Because the, co the pickup sounds are a little loud. Huh. Well, it's still kind of loud. Oh, that turned down the jumping, but the pickup sound was still really loud. They just met Terra. Oh. Terra's such a cool character. Oh, okay, so that did actually turn it down. It's a little too low now. Let's leave it at six. Who are you? Yo. This object is on point! You can get some sick dives on it. Sounds nice. Dang, you know it. It's like some rice with spice. That's cute. Sorry, I'm. I'm I, I think I'll turn it back up to seven. Then it was eight. Eight was a little loud, but. Am I stuck? She and Beast Boy are so cute. Are you a Terra Beast Boy fa uh, supremacist? Am I stuck? Oh, I have to hold X. Okay. So, how do I dive? Yeah, I'm just chilling here, soaking up them these sweet summer rays. We need some better voices. As long as I got my SPF 50, I could lie here for sweet, sweet days. Aw, cute. How do you dive? Oh dang, it's easy! That's terrible, I hate that. They need cuter voices. But it takes some practice. You gotta hear me out. First, you gotta be gliding. As you know, you glide by holding- okay. Then if you're high enough off the ground, release your control stick to dive downwards. Okay. Okay, let's see. If 
but I didn't dive. I decay if he's one raven or him and Terra are better. I personally like Raven, I just think she's cool. Okay, so I'm gliding. Release your control stick. What does that mean? To release your control stick. Is that a dive though? I just kind of plopped into the water. Oh. Yeah, why is it that eight is so lo loud, but seven is so quiet when picking up like the coin? I think I'll turn the master probably down one notch. Music's a bit loud. How's that? Oh, uh, we have auto save. Okay, a little lower. Okay, I'll just turn the master down eight to one then. Let's go back to where we came from, because there's a guy sitting by that campfire. Let's go talk to him. This is not where I came from. Also, this is this is, this is so beautiful, honestly. Like, it does take a second for the eyes to adjust to the pixels. Also, since I am playing on my big monitor, like, it's really, really pixely, actually. But it's really nice. I like the simulation on the fizz on the swimming. It's a tutorial. Haven't seen you all day. You been busy? Kinda. Well, not really. I've just been waiting around for a call. But there's your problem. There's no reception out here. Wait. What? Yeah, I mean, pretty much no reception. You might be able to get some at Hawk Peak. Yeah, I guess. That's pretty far, isn't it? It's not that far. We've all made the trek before. I figured you would have gone already. Oh yeah. I've been meaning to go, but... I just haven't gotten around to it yet. You know, this person sounds like they would have the Rousey voice. I'm gonna give them the Rousey voice. This is Claire, right? I'm assuming. Haven't gotten around to it yet. Well, today's a good a day as any. Just take White Beach Trail and head north at the fork, then follow the signs for Hawk Peak. No problem. Did you know you can- oh, okay. Of course, everyone knows that. Why do you ask? I don't know. I just had a feeling you might want to know. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Oh. I also am a huge fan of this camera, dude. It's very intelligent. Like, it actually is rotating very intelligently. 
It's not the fucking Okami uh, camera, which was. <laughs> hey, you! Find me 15 shells. Why? I want them. Yeah, but why? It's a secret. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. I, kept, I forgot that I have to give them their Aussie voice. Keep both eyes out, please. Can I hit them? Bap! Oh. <laughs> okay, I can't. Over here. Okay, they need 15 shells, we'll get them 15 shells. Shmoneys. This game is smooth, isn't it? It's very, very polished. Hey, Cla hey Claire, how's the day treating you? Well, I'm just getting out of the house now. Oh. One of those kind of days. Yeah. I've been kind of caught up in my head all boarding. Hmm. Did you say you feel lost and directionless? Um, maybe. Well, I've got just a thing for you. Take this. Compass. To use it. Okay. Press triangle. Okay. Oh, uh, thanks. This should come in handy. Happy hiking! How do I open my inventory? Oh, up like that, okay. Not sure why I picked this up. It's money, great for buying stuff and feeling secure. Tells you which way is north, selects to toggle on or off, okay. Oh. Oh my god, Animal Crossing pit fall seed. <laughs> I get back up. Where am I? Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Dang it. <laughs> I don't fall in. Oh, big shmoneys. <gasps> Frog! Eh, I want it! <laughs> Hey dude, what's happening? Oh, you know, just jamming out on the beach, building sand castles, whatnot. Sounds like a good time. You know it. Can I brag your shovel? Sorry, bud. I need it for sand castle construction. Isn't it a little big for that? Yeah, but that's just how shovels are. You can get smaller ones. Ones made for sand castles. What? Sounds fake. But if you can show me one, I'll be glad to trade. Okay, so we're gonna have to go find a smaller shovel somewhere, too. Oh, I'm busy. Hey there! What are you- what are you up to today? Uh, I'm, hi I'm hiking up to Hawk Peak. That's a tough hike! You know, you'll need to learn to rock climb to make it to the top. Oh, uh, why not join our rock climbing club? Uh, is it just the two of you? Hey! The Rock Climbers Association has hundreds of members spawning over 35 countries worldwide. Hundreds of members growing and refining the art of rock climbing, pushing the craft to its absolute limit and beyond. Uh, I bet it's just, if it's just the two of you, like, here. What of it? Listen, kid! Climbing ain't for the weak of heart. Most people don't have what it takes. Um... It's not really that- it's not really that bad, so anyway, you want to join the Rock Climbers Club? Sure. Great! Got our third member. NOT THIRD! 
Just another drop! In the hundreds! Worldwide! Alright, alright. <laughs> anyway. So first things first, you got a golden feather? No, not yet. Uh... You can't climb without one. You can buy them at the- okay. They should be pretty cheap. Come back when you've bought one. I love this- the angry fucking squirrel. Smith spirit animal. I want the hatch monies. I heard some rumors. Do you like rumors? I dabble. Okay, hear me out. Jim bought a metal- metal detector. He was running around yesterday looking for stuff around the island. It was going nuts though. Seems like there's stuff buried all over the island. What kind of stuff? I don't know. Metal stuff? Oh, I need the shovel to get to the pitfall seeds. I get, okay, that makes total sense. <laughs> Animal Crossing looking fishes. Okay. That is 11 shells. I need 15. Okay. The visitor center, I think, was over here. Hawk Peak Trail. Oh, visitor center's down. Okay. Shmoneys! <laughs> Such a little fucking rat. Shmoneys! <laughs> Peak, peak gameplay right here. Uh, probably down here. Or no, it's probably following the trail, JK. It's so cool, it's like a 3D game, but it's pixel art. Like, 2D pixel art, pretty much. Howdy, how can I help you? I heard you sell, I heard you sell golden feathers here. Oh, we do. You can buy one for 40 coins. What else do you sell? You also sell provincial, provincial park merchandise. We're kind of low on stock, but that's good, actually. It's been a busy season. Provincial parks must be trending or something. It's possible. Anyway, we only have one hat left. It costs 100 coins. I'll pass. Okay, I will buy the feather. Hello! I say salty! What's up? Long fucking time no see! Holy fuck! How you doing, bud? How you doing, kiddo? Pretty game. Have you ever played uh, a short hike? I'm enjoying it very much so far. I'm stuck. Oh, let me explain how they work. If you press- okay. Ooh, I can ascend at some point. Oh, <laughs> I just shook off one of my own feathers. Shmoneys! I love shmoneys. My Twitch crashed. I don't hear what you said. Oh, I was just asking what's good. It's been a really long time. Mi amigo. So how are you? It's good in the hood. You got a golden feather? feather? Yep. Great. So to get started, just push against the wall. Okay. Aw. Whatever! That climb is easy. Real pros use the big wall. Alright. Oh, I can't actually get that high. I need more golden feathers. That's cool. It has lots happened. Not gonna lie. Are you alright, homie? Been well, though. Okay. Glad to hear it. I can imagine probably just been like school and shit isn't really busy yeah how are you I am all I'm doing all right 
quite busy as well. Also, a lot happening. These are the boundaries, but... You know, we're doing alright. Did you move? I did. Did I get a cat? I did not. I did move, though. I now live on the entire other side of the United fucking States of America, by the way. <laughs> I moved 3,000 miles. I don't know how much that is in kilometers, but it's really fucking far. And it's weird. It's still trying to s I'm still trying to, like, let it sink in and process. It's been- It's been 22 days since I moved. There's gonna be a marathon race at Meteor Lake today. The competition this year is fierce! Oh, shovel. Toy shovel. Okay, it's another seashell. Trader, I would love to have a cat, but I don't have the shmoneys. Weren't you east before? Yep. I am now living in the great state of California. In the great city of Los Angeles. <laughs> I don't know why I described it like that, but... Yep. So I, uh... It's only 8 p.m. for me right now, and I'm yawning like a boomer. Notice, Hockey Trail is a strenuous hike. You might need a gold. You might need golden feathers to complete it. So maybe I can go buy. Oh. I like gaming. Pog. I wouldn't call it great. Well, that's subjective. The way forward is blocked. You better come visit Oz sometime soon. Honestly, I was actually like chatting about this with Nuru and I was like, dude, next year for spring holiday, like it's gonna be exciting because I'll have like a proper, like a spring holiday, you know, like I'll have it off. The nice thing about being in school now, right, is like, um, where am I going? Being in school again is like, I get holidays, right? I'm not, like, have to take days off and shit. Uh, I was like, yo, what if I actually went to New Zealand? And, and, and visited, and, and, uh, visited, stroke, visited you guys in New Zealand and also went to Australia. That'd be wild. Oh, this might be a little more of your size. Oh, that's perfect. Let's trade. Cool. When you want to use my shovel, Keep it fresh. Oh my god, I can just aggressively dig holes. That's funny. Rent must be hell. Yeah, but not much different than what it was in New York before anyways. Kick. Would be pog. It would be very poggers. Oh, no! No! I'm one short, okay. I wish Nuru would come to Oz too. Maybe I can convince him. <laughs> Shmoneys! But yeah, I mean, no promises yet, but it would be cool. It would be very cool, but again, Shmoneys. In time. I'm already so fucking busy this semester, and the, w and the semester just started. And here I thought that I would might be less busy as well since I'm a grad student, but I'm actually really fucking busy. <laughs> the trees are so cute, I love them. I'm- I actually fuck with this camera, so- Inkling! Ted, dear- Hey! Is that- Oh, well, so- How's it going? Long time no see. Who are you again? True, I don't know who I am. Who am I? Can you guys tell me who I am? I'm lost. I'm a tree- Oh my god, I'm in the tree! But thank you for the sub. New phone, who dis? 
I heard Oz is actually really nice. It's like UK, but nice weather and people are actually nice. I've, I've never disliked anyone I've met from Australia or New Zealand, either way. Only Melbourne. The only good part of Oz. People there are funny. And let me guess, that's where you're from. Hee <laughs> hee, funny. Thanks for shub, thanks for shrub. But yeah, thank you for the sub. What's good? What have you been up to, my friend? planning on hiking to Hawk Peak, but the past something got really steep. You think it's climbable? Well, it would be if I had a golden feather. Okay, everyone's telling me to get the fucking golden- Oh, dig a hole. What? Oh, so this feather's almost like a stamina bar. That's cool. Hi. Hi! Uh, who are you? Uh, uh not really. I'm supposed to run a marathon race today, but I've lost my lucky headband. I've worn it every race I've ever run. I I don't know if I can race without it. Where did you lose it? Choo 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 choo. Somewhere in Blackwood Forest, I think. I could take a look for you. Really? You do that for me? Sure. It's a red headband. Okay, I can give you a reward. I could give you a pair of running shoes. Don't you need those yourself? Well. I just got sponsored by this shoe company. They gave me like 10 pairs. Whoa. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, haha, -ha, thanks. But uh, let me know if you see a red headband. Oh, I know who you are now. You're a tree. I am tree. Work and school. Haven't played games in four months. I'm crying inside. No. Not the, not the no gamer time. That's rough. Do you get a holiday soon? I know they feel all too well same. And then there's me who will... <laughs> well... Yeah, honestly, I'm... Oh. I'm honestly about to get real busy. Ooh, feather! On the bright side, like, uh... Right now, I'm working... Oh, no! <laughs> Bruh. Uh, I'm working a job on my... Whoa, we are far back on my school campus, so, um... Whoa, I can bounce off of that?! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I actually get to do some work while at my job, too. Because, like, if it's not too busy, then I can just do some homework. My boss said it's alright. But, yeah. Whoa, good climbing. Eh, it was alright. So, I know you can fly and all, but your stamina will last longer if you climb places in it. Just something to keep in mind. Cool, so what's next? Trahawk Peak! Oh. <coughs> that hurt my throat. <clears> though I also haven't played League in four months, so I don't care if it's a good or a thing or a bad. It's a good thing. Too much League? Definitely a good thing. Yep. League gamer, shut up. Lego le legend. <laughs> Say something nice about yourself. Uh. Oh my god, so cute. Uh. What's a nice thing I should say about myself? Um, honestly, I, I might have said this before, but not like unironically. I actually have really good time management skills. <laughs> I actually do understand when to stop doing something from all perspectives. I, I stop playing a game when I have work to do. Uh, I take a break and play a game if I've been working for too long and am fried. Uh, I start assignments early. <laughs> you know, I don't like procrastinate on them until the last day. 
According to someone, I heard you're like level 200, no, 300, what? Sorry, I was trying to say League of Legends, but had a stroke. Like a legend. <laughs> I have a friend named Penguin Coco, so that's a good thing about myself. No, that's actually a pretty god awful thing. Yeesh! What you paid them? Oh, you can't tell. Um, it's supposed to be the coastline. Though, I'm trying to go for a more abstract look. Ah, I think I can see it now. It's still a work in progress, but I don't know if I like where it's going. I think I'm gonna head over to Blackwood Forest Lighthouse soon. I'm still trying to find the right inspiration. I wish I was like that. These are things that you learn... This is, this is also just something you develop over time. Teach me your ways. I need to learn how to not procrastinate. Oh. Well, the not procrastinating thing for me is just more specifically... I have... I get aggressive time anxiety, and I just know that I will implode if I leave it until the last second, so... The fact that it took you so long was is concerning, because I could have said five things in that time. Hey, man, you know... I've said nice things about myself a bunch of times, too, right? So I'm running out of things to say. Me being almost level 600 on League. Kick. I mean, considering that you've been playing League for a long time, it's understandable. Kind of. I wish I was good at League, don't we all? No one's good at League. There's just people who are bad and less bad at League. Dear sign reader, hi! I don't know you, but you're probably pretty cool. I'm cool too! We should race each other. It'd be cool. BRB! I'm gonna set up the ribbon at the lighthouse. Avery. This game feels so good to play. Holy crap, by the way. Like, I said it earlier, but the camera on this game feels so good. I'm like, I, I, I fuck with it so hard. It's a very, very intelligent camera system. And it actually, like, rotates properly. And in a way that's not like a, a like obtrusive. Where's to say something bad about yourself? You can redeem that right now. Uh, what's something bad about myself? You know what? No, I'm perfect. There's nothing bad about me. That's the bad thing about me. I think there's nothing bad about me. Exit. Ah! Oh, okay, I thought I was about to get some point by the water. Oh, shmoneys! <laughs> we need one more shell as well to give to that person. I'm not good at League after like three years. I'm fucking awful for how long I've played. Exactly! No one's good at League. Oh, there's the shell. A shell, not the shell. 15, okay, let's go back and find that person. This game is fun, it's cute. You smelly leg gamer, that's something bad, that's true. Agreed? No, 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 we don't say no, this is called enabling. We say, Pangy, stop when her ego goes too far. <laughs> stop, Pangy, stop. Uh, I think they were somewhere around here. I forget if they were on this side of the bridge or. They might have been on the, so the other side then. Pengi, having ego is good. No, it's not! <laughs> nice affirmation. I can't say much though. I've fallen into that hole. Wait, which hole are we talking about? Sorry, the, the conversation has too many threads. I'm getting lost. Uh, where's the person that wanted the shells? What did they look like? I don't remember. Maybe they were further back. 
Oops. Pengi, keep go. The league hole. We're going down the league hole? Alright. Salty, you and me. Let's get diamond together. You and me against the world. Maybe they were all the way back here. I think it was this one. Yeah, yeah. Got your shell. Hey, I've got your shells. Ooh. I'll take them. So now what? What? I mean, uh, do I get anything? No! Jeez, not even a thank you? That's not very nice. I do what it takes to survive. I never promise you anything. Actually, I do have something for you. A new job. I already have a job. Well, make this your side gig. What if I don't take it? It's your loss. Good jobs are hard to find. So what will it be? I'll take your side gig. Good. Take this. Shell necklace. And deliver it to the Ranger May. That is all. <laughs> Bruh. Echo, let's fucking go! I think Echo's strong right now. But I have a perfect strap, Hengi. We play Vega, Yumi, we just one-shot everyone. Easy, Diamond, let's go. You know what? I can get behind it. Except one thing. I despise Yumi. <laughs> Meow. Hey, Fang. What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh my gosh, I like flapped in, ta in, in, in time with my what's up. Oh, okay, camera got a little whack there. Ooh, something over there? We've been over here? Meow? Ooh, 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 you've never heard? Uh, that's how I always greet Fang. Because that's how they always come into chat. Meow. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh my god, do you see how big my eyes get when I slide down? It's so cute. Saving, cool. Shells, nice. Then we do Vagar Lux and we one-shot people twice. <laughs> Actually, honestly, when I play with Life Virus, like when he plays Vagar AD, I, I, I love playing Lux with uh, that. Because it's actually just like Perma CC. And then they just get deleted. Dibs on Lux? No, I get Lux. I actually re Oh my gosh, wait. Actually, hold up, hold up. Also, I'm, just, I'm gonna just call you Mawile. Is that okay? Unless you prefer something else. I think I might have asked this before, but I, like for stream, but I don't remember the answer. But I, I got the Prestige Battle Academia Lux. It's finally in the shop. I was so happy. It's such a cute skin. Shmoneys! Sorry, <laughs> it's really loud. I may or may not have bought a Lux skin. Which Lux skin? Which one? It better have been Space Group. That's my favorite. Call me Teddy or Mawile. Mawile? Alright, alright. I'm used to Mawile. I'll call you that. Nice. Yo! Yeah! Let's fucking go. I'm grinding out the Janna Prestige right now. It's so pretty. Lux chimps. Honestly, in my in my Discord server with my friends, like uh, the ones that I like, play a little too much League with, my role is literally Lux Shrimp. <laughs> Cause I think I have like almost all of her skins. Like I don't have the, the only one of like the quote quote like good skins I don't have is Pajama Guardian. Like I don't have like Spell Thief or Commando or Steel Legion because those are the old kind of doo doo ones. But I have every every other Lux skin otherwise pretty much I think. I forgot. Oh. When you get the chance, look up the Yu-Gi-Oh card called Penguin Squire. It's very cute and awesome. I feel like you told me about a Yu-Gi-Oh card before that had Penguin on it. And it was it this one? Let me look it up again real quick if it looks familiar. Oh, it wasn't this one, but this one's so fucking cute. Oh, little Penguin with a sword. My little Squire, I love it. I have to play Yu-Gi-Oh just for this. Have I ever shown you my lead collection? You have. You have like four, wait, 400. You have like 400 skins, don't you? Let me check, all right. We gotta see the Lux skin. It better be Space Groove. 
There's lots of cards with Penguin. Penguin Brave. Oh, we looked at Penguin Brave, like, on a stream long time ago. That's the one. There's a villain. There was a villain in one of Yu-Gi-Oh! anime arcs. A penguin? We all know penguins are evil. True. Oh, no! Okay, yeah. Uh... 100% sure if I can get all the way up there yet, so we'll just leave for now. Interesting choice that we can do, do, like glide infinitely. 500 keck, yeah, that is a lot. Remember that you got the 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 solar eclipse sliver from the prime capsule or something like that, the prime box. I've been getting a lot of Yone skins lately, like a lot of hot boy Yone skins. I got Spirit Blossom. Um, Battle Academia and Ocean Song. Like, do I need to become a Yone player? Kinda hot. What? Okay, how do I get back to the mainland? Oh my god, lol. <laughs> Solar Eclipse Sedge. Right, right. Okay, it was. I remember it was one of the Solar Eclipse skins because you showed me. He's a Cleva Corp exec whose persona is a penguin. That's really cursed. Hey, yo, fuck your name, Yasuo. <laughs> you saying, you saying, fuck your name, Yasuo, or fuck your name, Yasuo? <laughs> Get fucked. Okay, where am I going? <laughs> um, yeah, there's such, there's such obnoxious champions when they're, when you play against good Yone and Yasuo players. When you play against doggy doo doo Yone and Yasuo players, you can just beat them up. Okay, I don't- we- we should use the compass. <laughs> Those brothers can eat all the ass- yeesh! I think it might have been around this way, no. I like this game's art style. Me too! I really- I- I'm, I dig it so much, it's so cute. I- I really just like the way the trees look. You know, pixel art trees. 3D pixel art, though. I also got Arcana Zaya the day after it came out from a chest. Yeah, I remember that, too. Arcana Zaya and Arcana, I really want that, too. Like, I would... I would... I I would pay monies for Arcana or Arcana. Although, I already have Star Guardian, so I wouldn't need it. Okay, where the fuck are we? I think we were... We're almost actually near the beginning. I got Arcana, Hecarim, and Rise from boxes recently, actually. But I don't play either of those champions, XE, so... Okay, yeah, this is the very fucking beginning, by the way. <laughs> I feel like when you have so many skins, you actually have a good chance to get good new skins. Yeah, and if if you get a re you, you just re-roll. Oh my god, I actually recently got a Space Groove Lux skin shard, and I was so mad because like that was this not mad, but that was the skin I wanted for so long, and then one of my friends ended up just buying it for me for like Christmas. But yeah, I almost I I I still have that shard just chilling in my in my inventory because or my loot because I can I can't. Bear the thought of disenchanting or re-rolling space group looks. I recently also started playing, like, not gonna lie, I, I, pl I played a lot of games recently with base luck skin, because, like, the base skins generally feel really good to play. And it's just so funny, because <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I look, I look like such a, I feel like I look like such a loser. 500k points on lux with base lux. Shmonies! More shmonies! Oh, it's this guy. Hey, it's you again. Yep. Classic me again. So, what do you think about this so far? Whoa, this is really good. It's like, better than real life. Huh, well, I don't think I can compete with real life, but I am happy with it so far. 
I don't know if it'll fit in my exhibit though. I'm trying to come up with something more interesting. I'm gonna follow one of the rivers up to its source. I have an idea for a painting from that perspective. I got Cafe Cutie Soraka for my Prime Capsule this month. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I do not like any of the Cafe Cutie skins. They freak me out. Cafe Cutie's bard is pretty cute. Except the mustache on the teapot is a little weird. Cafe Cutie's Vlad also okay. Because he just looks like a dude. But something about the Soraka and Gwen. I don't like it. And like... Yeah. Eh, I need the shmoneys! Oh, I can't reach the shmoneys, okay. Cafe Cutie's Bard! Skin is so good, except... Problem is, Snow Day Bard is just too good. I really ought to learn how to play Bard, too. He's a funny champion. I love when people play AD Bard in ARAM. It's so funny watching him just whack people. <laughs> when he has, like, like uh, when he builds attack speed, it's just so funny. It's really shiny over here. What is that? Oh, I think it was just some sparkle in nature, I guess. <gasps> Ninja Turtle! Oh, uh, weird question, but where'd you get that headband? Uh, I don't know. I've had it for ages. Why? Oh, well, I was just talking to this rabbit. She said she lost her headband somewhere in the forest. Oh, you mean Sue? Maybe? I didn't get her name. She was really worried about it, though. She said she was lucky and she did it for the race. I was supposed to race her later today. She's so talented, I've been looking forward to it. Hmm, what if I gave you mine? I'm pretty sure it's the same kind. Maybe she wouldn't notice? Oh, but... But then it wouldn't be lucky. I don't know. Just take it. See if she wants it. Oh, what a nice ninja turtle. The W like tea filling cup. That's really cute too. Yeah. League. <laughs> hey L, how's it going? Very very long time no see, but how are you? Missed you, bud. Thank you. Do you realize you're talking to a bard OTP, right? Yeah, I remember. I remember you play a lot of Bard on, like, your, uh, support account. Give me a call and I'm gonna show you the Bardo ways. I have another friend who's also a Bard one trick. He just seems like a fun champ. He's just so funny. I always love how when people, like, categorize champs, they're just like, supports, tanks, enchanters, and then Bard. Or, sorry, not supports, like, when they're looking at support tier list, right? It's like, uh, like, poke mages. Enchanters, tanks, bard. It's so funny. That was cute that it popped me up. Oh, there's a seashell up there. Was that just me? There is one. Okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Is that voice... Is that voice you do a reference to something, or is this when you came up with? It's both. It's a reference to the Rousey voice that I made up for when we did... Uh... Not Undertale. Uh, Delta Rune. So, um, Fang, don't tell me you're not you're not familiar with the Undertale Delta Rune repertoire we got, right? I'm surprised you're not playing Spot Three. Didn't that come out like recently? The full game comes out, I think, actually this coming Friday, or, or sorry, not tomorrow, like next Friday. Um, there was a, the demo release, and there was a one-day Splat Fest, but I didn't actually play it, unfortunately. Uh, I was really busy on that day, and then I'm not gonna lie, guys, we might not buy Splat Three the day it comes out. <laughs> as much as I would love to, I would like. I need to be saving some shmoneys right now. I am poor after moving, and generally I have I've got a lot of stuff that I need to be paying for soon. So it's best to save some shmoneys. So we'll see, we'll see. Because like I really want to play Splatoon, right? This whole channel used to be split, like built around Splatoon, so it'd be a shame to not play the the new game, but. It is gonna be, it's really expensive. 60 bucks is not a small sum, so we'll see. Bard is the perfect support because he's a good support when your team runs it down. You just turn brain off and collect chimes and fuck around. It's the good life. And me playing Senna.
I love how like even the wind blowing through is like all pixelated. It's so it's just such a charming art style. It's so special. It's so unique. How's it going? Good. The fish are biting today. Cool, cool. So, uh, is fishing hard? Nope. It's easy. I can show you if you'd like. Yeah. Here. I'll lend you my spare rod. Thanks. <sighs> Bro, it's Animal Crossing. Where's my fishy? So, uh, uh, what do I do now? You wait. Oh. Okay. Where's my fishy, fishy fish for my dishy, dishy dish? I don't know a lot about Undertale or Delta Green. Oh, okay. So during, I mean, um, you don't have to know much about the game. I just tuned into the streams, and we had a huge rep of uh voices. So we we had the Saiyans voice. This is the voice I use for Saiyans. We had the Curse Papyrus Italian voice. That we we had outfits. This one, this one looks me. This this one's a personal favorite of mine. I know that you guys don't really like the outfits voice very much, but I love it. Um, there is a uh, one more notable one. Oh, Undyne. She's like, she's kind of, she's kind of kind of like this. Like, I'm trying to think of like of this. Fish in the sea, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's what she sounded like. <laughs> uh, and then for Delta Rune, we had S Susie was kind of like this, just very angry butch girl sounding. Uh, who else do we have? We, we, we had Noel. She was she was, she was she was really shy and stuttered a lot, and had a bit had a big crush on Susie. Uh, who else? And then and then of course we have Rousey. This is everyone's favorite. Is not out? Yeah, I saw someone streaming and thought it was. Yeah, it was the demo. It was the one day Splat Fest. Splat 3 comes, yep, it comes out next Friday, I think. Not tomorrow, but next Friday. Looked the exact same like what you normally plan on Splatoon 2. No, they ruined the ability of Squid Bag. It's being be demoed at PAX Western. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I would like to play it, very much so, but, you know, again, we shall see about the shmoonies. I probably missed those streams to avoid spoilers. That's fair, that is totally fair. So, yeah, I don't think I spoiled anything by just bringing up, like, character names, because, like, yeah. Am I doing this right? Yep. Maybe I should cast it again, you know, find a better spot. This spot is good. I saw some fish around here earlier. That's a good sign. Sometimes, just gotta wait. Patience is key. Huh. Well, my strong suit. Look alive! A fish is nibbling. Should I pull it out? Not, not yet. You gotta wait for it to bite. What do I do now? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Oh, caught a fish. See? Easy as pie. I don't know if I'd say that. I suck at baking. I guess I mean easy as eat a pie? I can get behind that. Now that's a penguin after my heart. Alright, penguin, I'm gonna go lay in bed for three hours to pass out, but I will send you my cute as fuck bard mug. See ya! See ya later! Thanks for coming by! It's nice seeing you again, homie. I did see your Discord message, the bump. <laughs> so I'll, I'll catch you later. Oh, this bard mug is real cute. I'm so stoked to eat breakfast, but... But it's already afternoon? Tomorrow's breakfast. It's the best meal of the day. Sometimes when I'm about to go to bed, I get so excited with the thought that I have... a thought of it that I have trouble sleeping. Mood. Northern 
pike. Oh, so fish, it seems like they won't, like, go away in this game like they do in Animal Crossing. The mug isn't that small. My hands are just fucking big. Big hands. It's a very cute mug, though. I love that it's the little cat. Good night, good night. Sleep well. Get so excited as you're laying in bed trying to fall asleep about breakfast. Yeah! Again, that's a man after my heart. I just love the way the trees look in this game. I really, I really do. Something about how, like, they're shaded is just, like, perfect. Hey, are you doing the race today? Yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. What do you want? Can I join the race? Nothing. I don't feel like joining the race. Well, gotta go. Got a blast! Here. I haven't seen a golden feather in a while. Can I buy more at the visitor center, you think? I don't really want to go all the way back down right now. Oh, we were up here a second ago. Okay. Wow, I love the music here. basically back at the bottom. <laughs> we need to go find um, the rabbit Sue and give her the headband. So let's head up over there. Let me just ugh, change my seating position. <sighs> I need to get a foot rest. I don't like that my feet just dangle off the edge of the chair, honestly. I've realized recently that that's what makes sitting very uncomfortable sometimes. I'm gonna plant my feet on the ground. And yeah, ha ha ha, I'm so short. <laughs> Any luck finding my headband yet? Well, I found this. Hmm, that's not it. The sweat scenes aren't in the right place. Ew. Where'd you find this? Actually, the turtle gave it to me. They said you could have it. But looking forward to the race, I did watch it. I miss it. What? Really? Taylor the turtle? They're like the regional champion. This headband has to be like at least twice as lucky. Possibly even quadruple lucky. Okay. Er... I'll take it. I'm so pumped. Take these running shoes. However, just keep in mind your running requires golden feathers. Do I need to uh, unequip the fishing rod? I've seen this game on the eShop before, and I thought it was literally about hiking based. I thought it was, I thought it was literally about hiking based on the name alone. But after watching you play it, I think I'll buy it soon. It's really fun, and I'm enjoying it so far. And it's cute and pretty chill. I mean, I think that's the vibes of the game, right? Because like the whole theme is like. Claire seems to be a big city person, right? And like sometimes you need to 
escape into nature and get away from that and take it easy, right? And I think it goes on sale quite a lot. Um, I don't know how much it is on the eShop, but I think when I bought it, because I have it on Steam, I bought it for maybe like either $5.99 or $9.99. I did get it on sale, but like either way, it's not very expensive. I think you should be able to download it from Itch as well for a pay a price that you want, I think. Not 100% sure. But yeah, would recommend. I am enjoying it a lot so far. I think it's actually, it's like, a, it's honestly such a good stream game too. Like, I can really move at my own pace out here. Stop and smell the flowers, stop and chat for a couple minutes. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to get it over. Oh. oh. Okay, I'm just like progressively going further and further over there to try and find a way to cross because there's like a little path that I can follow almost. Oh well, what's up Kevin? Welcome back. Oh, it's from all the way over here. Wow, okay. Bunnies. More bunnies. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, almost fell off. She seashell. Bunnies. I'm not gonna head over there first. I wanna go to the other side first. I played this game on stream too. Oh yeah? I don't remember that stream. Probably did not tune in, I pres presume. But I'm enjoying this a lot. It also oh my god, I just still can't like I need to really like sit down and think about this, but like oh god, this game feels so good. Okay, I don't think I can actually clear that. I haven't seen a golden feather in a while, so. Well, you're all supposed to go to the top of Red Hawk, so I don't. No! No! <laughs> oh my god, I'm molding. Okay, it's fine. I think it's a really, really, I think it, it really is a very interesting choice that they didn't um, make gliding require any of your stamina. Which is, you know, golden feathers. Hold up, my spine is so itchy. Getting all snowy. Hawk Peak Trail. Wood Creek Lake Meteor Pan. Okay. Uh, let's just keep going up for now. There's a good GTC talk about this game, which is why I finally played it. What was the talk about? Like this game is also generous in a lot of ways, right? In that like uh the platforming in it is not very hard. So I kind of very much like how the accessibility on this game feels. So many shmoneys! The the helianthus. Disententless rubber what? Official flower. This unique special species blooms instantly in flash flooding condition. Inflating like a water balloon. Experience it for yourself with one of the park's uh, communal water buckets. All buckets are property of the park. Please do not remove buckets from the park. Um, a bucket of water seems heavy. I don't think I could fly or climb carrying a water bu a bucket full of water. It'll probably still glide. Hmm. 
Where's the flower? But where's the flower? Was it supposed to recognize what the flower is? Hey kid, you wanna buy some golden feathers? Yeah, okay. 100 coin per feather, but that's worth the twice as the visitor centers. Go buy feathers from them then. Maybe I will. So you're gonna buy feathers or what? Fine. Smell you later. Okay, Gary. Hey, where'd my bucket go? Oh, there's the painter. Hmm, this painting isn't working. What? I like it. Thanks. This park is special to me, but I don't think I'm gonna impress anyone with these. Hey, I'm impressed. I mean, like, leave an impression on anyone. I have to show people that I'm achieving something worthwhile, like, academically. Hmm. I heard there's a, re there's a graveyard in the shadow of the mountain. I'm gonna try that next. This game also gets featured on the Design Doc YouTube channel. This game has been in like four to six months. It was a post-mortem on development. I also turned off pixelation because it made my brain hurt. Good accessibility option. There's a pixelation? I never thought about that actually. I don't know if I like the pixelation more or less, honestly. I mean, obviously, quote, quote, it looks better, but... I actually didn't know there was, there wasn't, um... That there was this pixelation. Ooh, tiny and sharp. I like that. 46 months? Yeah, and it was like one dude basically made the whole game. Still need a bunch more. We're gonna go to the visitor center. That guy's a scam. I think they're both good, but I need to squint a bit when the pixels are on. That's fair, yeah. I can I can feel that. This is a little easier to look at, I think. It's yeah, easier in the eyes for sure. Fox holding a monopoly on the golden feathers, I see. Big sh treasure chest. It's shiny. Hey yo, how's the hike treating you? Oh, uh, it's pretty nice. 
really beautiful here. I know, right? The view from the top was so good. You made it up to Hawk Pee? Oh no, that's too intense for me. I've just come from Outlook Point. I'm gonna do a few rounds to get my exercise in. Not to brag, but I'm pretty fast. Maybe I'll see you up there in a few. How do I give, give? No! Oh, there we go. Oh, a golden feather, nice. I love how the penguin's head looks up uh, and around as you uh, looks up as you run around. Yeah, I didn't realize that the, the 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 player character would have like so much personality and like dialogue, but I kind of it's cute and charming. I actually don't mind it. I was just expecting this to be like a silent protagonist game, you know. Oh, I went through the ground. Seashell. We're back here again. Okay, there's that was an alternate route to get up here, I see. Down with the silent protagonist! The Asian player character is riding his back! <laughs> I mean, we were talking about this this um I was talking about this with some friends the other day about how like it's interesting that in like Genshin, like it seems that as if like the player character has a new writer, right? They're very chatty these days. Let's go. On there, young friend. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you seem a little unprepared. It's mighty cold up here for folks who aren't accustomed. I didn't expect it to get this cook cold. My feathers are freezing up. Hawk Peak is unique in the province for geothermal activity. If you get too chilly, stop at one of the hot springs. That should give you back your strength. <laughs> they shouldn't be the default, though. I think a lot of games rely on. S over rely on silent protagonist. Yeah, I mean, I also. <laughs> my instinct is that there's a Korok seed here. It, yeah, it just depends on the. Almost like the context and the usage of silent protag, you know? Silent protag can get a little obnoxious. I certainly don't mind it in many games. Ooh, wait, there's an updraft there. Oh, it's not an updraft, it's pushing me back. Okay. Shmonies! Excuse for lazy writing. Sometimes, yeah. Depends, though. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, that's a wall. I didn't understand that.
Oh, I want that money's down there, but I don't want to waste my stamina. We'll see. Whoa, this is cool. It's like a huge, like, stamina resource management, like, little puzzle over here. Just, like, trying to climb up here. What? I'm back here again. I was. What? What? Can games with player avatars not have silent pro tags, or does one imply the other? I don't know. What do you think? I think having a player character definitely breeds like a lot. Uh, having a silent pro tag though, right? Because in that case, you are the pro tag. Like a customizable player character. I cannot get over this camera! It's so good! No! Oh my gosh. Hey, it's you again. We're almost at the top, but... Looks like the bridge collapsed. There might be another way up. Or... Just go collect more golden feathers? Huh. That's really shiny over there. I'm, like, fully out of stamina. There probably is another way up. The camera is great in this game. Yeah, I've been gushing about it since the very beginning. Like, the camera, like, the, 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 it's a very, very intelligent camera. And actually is rotating well in a, like, a non-motion sickness inducing kind of way. Oh my god. Oh wait, that pole is floating. Huh. Damn it. Well, I'm assuming once you get to the top, that's like the end of the game, right? So maybe we shouldn't be trying to get to the top right now. Or not shouldn't be, we don't need to be worrying so much about- Oh, I'm frozen. Avery's got chaotic energy. He glide. Yeah, I love this game because actually penguins can fly. It's the best part. Oh, graveyard. Where's the guy? He said he was going to be at the graveyard. No. Painter.
serious. Painting in the rain? Yep. Is that possible? I'm trying. I don't have a lot of time. The exhibition is next week. Oh, okay. Nothing nothing has been working so far. I finally got invited to show my work in the city. But everyone there is doing amazing contemporary work. I don't know if I can keep up. But your stuff is beautiful. You know who's current excuse me, curating the event? Ian Artsworth. What a name. Famous contemporary artist, Ian Artsworth. He personally invited me to participate. And and I'm gonna show up with my boring landscapes. Don't cry. And he's gonna take one look at him and whisper, This fails to resonate with me and probably karate chop them in half. What? He wouldn't do that. He could. Also, he's also a black belt. So it's definitely possible. <sighs> but you're right. Trying to paint here is useless. Maybe I'd have better luck at Outlook Point. Something about this game that inspires me is that I know exactly how almost everything was made and how to achieve it in Unity. Kevin just cloned this game. Easy. <laughs> Any secrets? No. Oh, we could probably get to the top on that separate island now, but it's whatever. Hey, it looks like you got the net set up. Are you gonna? Are you two gonna play volleyball? Volleyball? Nah, we invented our own game. I think it's gonna be the next big thing. All right, Claire. Huh? I formally challenge you to a game of beach stick ball. Ooh, that means you have to play. Yeah, you have to. It's the law. You can't fight the law. Okay, okay, I'll play. Yay! So how do you play? Step over to the side of the court, and I'll teach you everything I know. And it would take me longer than six months, that's for sure. I don't have the patience to do this all on my own. Patience is a virtue, just like with the fishing. So, beach stick ball has only three simple rules. Three simple rules. Rule number one, hit the ball with your stick. Yeah, hit real hard. Rule number two, don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part, Julie is the ref, so it's all up to her. It's all up to me. Rule number three. Believe in yourself. That's the most important rule. Aww. Don't ever forget it. That's pretty much it. This is a very, like, encouraging game. No patience. I have ADHD. Understandable. <laughs> I love the writing in this game. So simple and cute. Yeah, this game... You know, it's funny because... Something I knew about this game when I bought it is the like, story is really cute. But I don't know why, but for some reason I didn't- It's not as if I had low expectations for it. It's just that, like, somehow the fact that this game is still, a, like, a narrative-based game, and, like, or not that narrative-based, but it has a narrative, is just something that just continuously didn't register with me. I don't know why. I really don't. But, like, the narrative is, like, shockingly deeper than I thought it would be, too. Not even, like, a- Again, that sounds kind of condescending. Like, I don't mean it's shockingly deeper, but it's also, like, I didn't know we'd be interacting with a huge cast of NPCs. And, like, the painter guy. Like, the painter guy is clearly, like, a, a special NPC. Like, he's, like, a- I feel like there's a word for it. But, like, uh, he's not just, like, you know, like, the bunny collecting seashells, but, like, he's a- he's a character you're supposed to come and to care about, right? He's, like, upset- he's, like, scared that his paintings are gonna fail. That's actually very endearing, right? So, I'm such a big fan of this game so far. That's pretty much it. You ready? I guess so. The answer is no. You need to equip your stick first, bruh. Good point. Also, like, the protagonist is, like, lovable, too. Like, um... I don't know. Something about the protagonist just feels very blunt and straightforward and honest. Like, the... I mean, like... Not blunt, but like pure. <laughs> but good natured and good hearted, right? Like earlier when the guy was like easy as pie, and he's like, and she's like, I'm not a very good baker. He's like, that's not what I meant. <laughs> like she's very, very good hearted. Okay, ready, set, go.
Like, everything about this game also feels as if it's designed to be very, uh, head-empty vibes. Oh, did I lose? Nope! You can never lose! When you play beach stick ball, everyone wins! Aww. Except if you pop the ball. Then I guess you lose. Otherwise, beach stick ball is a purely co-op game. A oh, coop game? You mean co-op? Yeah, a coop game. It means we work together to get a high score. That sounds nice. We get a point for every pass we make. If we get to 10 points, I'll give you a prize. You already got 10 points. Your score is 16. Oh, well, I guess I owe you a prize. Take this. I bet if we catch a specific type of fish, we'll get a gold feather, too, from earlier. You're really good. With your skill, we might even be able to make it 20. That'd still be pretty hard. I can do it. I never found this part. Get owned. Oh. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. I wonder if you can actually pop it. Nine. Ten. Oh. Get fucked. It counts. The serve counts. Fine. We got nine points then. Two. Oh. Four. Six. That definitely hit the ground. Seven. Eight. Ten. Ooh, that hit me. Oh. Bonk. Tree. <laughs> he never drops the ball because he's a computer. count. Oh. That's got to be at least 20. What? I was going to say if it's 19, I'm going to cry. Okay, one. I'm always the odd even numbers. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! MLG! <laughs> <laughs> do downward swing and then knocks the ball up. Yeah, it's funny. We hit 20! That's my new record! Uh-uh, I gotta come up with a reward. I'm gonna give you all the money in my pocket. That's a lot. I didn't want to take all your money. It's okay, my family's ri- <laughs> Oh, well, okay, I guess. That's so funny. I- <laughs> I know, this guy's such a chad. I love him. That's really fun. Yeah, this game very much makes me want 100% it. Not even, like, well, not 100%, but, like, I don't want to miss anything in this game at all. Like, I want to find every mini game. Because I don't even know, like, a... Uh... Can you 100% this game? Like, I wonder if there's a point where he doesn't hit the ball back. That'd be kind of cool. But, we'll s or the ball pops, but... I don't think we've been here before, right? This is a very wholesome game. I bet, like, in, like, three to four hours, I felt like I really explored everything I wanted to. I beat it in, like, three to four hours, I really felt like I explored everything I wanted from it. Yeah, I do know this game is short, too. I mean, it's called The Short Hike, but... I do know people said that like it's completable in not a long time, so it'll probably only be one or two streams, but... And I kind of like that the game would be short too, because something that I'm starting to feel really is like, obviously like, yeah, hiking, like living on an island where like clearly, like, it's like a camp island where everyone's hanging out, doing outdoor, to, outdoor activities and sports and just having a good time. But this game feels very... 
It feels like slice of life for like uh, adjacent, right? Feels very much a. Uh... Appreciate a lot of small things, right? Like with the fishing, it's just an exercise in patience. Playing ball with those guys, like it was really cute and charming and fun and like brain empty, but just appreciating the small things. I think I saw Shmoney's over there. Shmoney's! One gaming session games are fantastic. Those are my favorite games to stream. I can agree. Honestly, I, like, sometimes the one thing I don't like, I've recently just been streaming a lot of longer games, like a lot of series, right? Like with Kingdom Hearts and then when I was doing Mario before. Is, yeah. Between streams can just get a little annoying and then playing the same thing for 10 gajillion years, so. I do have, like, a small library of games on Steam that I haven't played yet, so I'm gonna try and make my way through some of those through, through stream in the next few weeks, too. Not many, but. You know, there's some at least. Oh, that's the dive. Okay. Seashell shmoneys. Steak. I've been 2D gen of my gaming lately. Need a more games like this again? Playing too much Udyr. I need a pee. Very, ra <laughs> very random thought. Okay, let's try fishing. There are indeed fish here. Oh, and then I sit down and I chill. That's cute. Spotted brook trout. So give me one second. I need water. I did not. I only have one cup of water. I'll be back in like a minute. <laughs> has been acquired. League has been too satisfying. Literally going 10 to know every game. That's the best. Playing Death's Door. What is that about? What? Played it while b binging Steven Universe? <clears throat> so it seems like a somewhat casual-ish game if you can play it, like while watching TV. Also, water has been acquired. Um, 
Another comment I wanted to make about this game is the UI is fantastic. Or rather, lack thereof. Um, I've honestly been thinking a lot re like recently about clutter, clutter UIs, right? And like, as I was playing, I, be, I was playing Stray a while ago because my, um, went to visit my professor before I moved out of New York and he has a PS4 and so he let me play, play Stray on it. And like, it's, the UI is so minimal there too. It's like very, I think like, I don't know, just a testament to like, uh, how, how clean, not how clean, but like, not even it's not even non cluttered. It's kind of more just like um, how simplistic the UI is can really contribute to like a, a vibe of a game too. Because Stray is another one where it's like a uh, Stray is a little more actiony than this game, of course, because like you're running away from evil, evil robots sometimes. But uh, it's same time meant to be kind of more of like a, a cute, casual kind of anyone friendly game. I mean, I feel like I'm not really saying anything that no one didn't uh, know, anyways, but. Cleaner UI is more welcoming and friendly to pretty much everyone. Inviting. When a UI just has too many elements, like not even to say it's cluttered and ugly, it's just when a UI has too many elements. It's very hard to digest. Fire! Okay. <laughs> I'm really good at multitasking. So you play as a cute crow and you go around doing puzzles and stabbing baddies in isometric combat. Isometric combat. I want to stab baddies. I like what Persona 5 did for UIs for JRPGs. Very stylish and reduces your time. Didn't didn't menuing. That's a cluttered UI, but it's hella good. I have not played any of the Persona games, so I can't entirely say I know what, what you're talking about. But I trust you. Treasure map. Says, upon a starry cliff top, one should pause to see the view. Peer through an earthy window, gold is hidden in the blue. Come on, A's. Oh, your time spent menuing. Okay. I, f I, f I kind of. Kind of understood your time area because, like, you spent like you didn't have to menu so much, right? Yeah, what is the flower that we're supposed to use the bucket of water on, though? I didn't understand that earlier. Oh, I didn't have it with water. Okay. So it is that sprout, I just didn't have the water earlier. Or just... Bruh. I missed. <laughs> oh my god, look how big my eyes get, that's cute. So do I just have a bucket in my inventory or no? Don't play, it's like a hundred- yeah, I know that Persona is like really long games. Much hour- much hours spent.
worth the 140 hours for you? I wouldn't doubt that it's not worth it. It's just, uh, it is a long time to put into the game. Oh, so you should be able to bloom all these flowers somehow. No! Oh, I'm still to the top. Okay, nice. I love that I just like flap along the edge. This does look exactly like the Animal Crossing Pitfall Seed, and you can't tell me otherwise. Oh, so I still have the bucket, okay. I got so attached to the characters in the game, I can imagine. <laughs> Common carp, all right. Hi, are you Avery? Yes, that's me. Did you read my ad? Aside? Yeah. Great. So, you want to race? Sure. Fantastic. Okay, so here's the rules. First one to touch the lighthouse door wins. Also, let's only use... Okay. I don't really know where to go, so... I have no idea where we're going. I got stuck. I won, you put up a good race, that was really fun. Oh, I nearly forgot, I've got something for you. If you get lost during a race, ring me up and we can start over. I bet if I get a feather, I get I, I bet I get a feather if I beat her. How do I sprint again though? I did not mean to go that way. fast! Oh! 
Okay, I have to admit, you are good, but I feel like I was just getting warmed up. Bye. <laughs> Zoom in, I was fast as fuck, boy. Gliding OP, bro. Hey, she pushed me the first time. Howdy. Hi, what's you doing? Taking a break. Eh. Don't tell anyone, right? Oh, well, I don't even know who to tell. Good. Can't wait to be done today. When my shift's over, I'll be out catching some rare fish. It's my hobby, you see? If you happen to find your some fish yourself, bring them to me and I'll trade you a coin. I caught some fish already. Oh? Can I take a look at them? Bought in Brook Trowie. Eh? I'll give you eight for it. Is that all? That's all. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. I missed it. Foul play, slush. Ch oh, you're watching without view. I, you don't even know. <laughs> it's so funny that Twitch has that feature. It's really outing people. Rainbow Trout. What? Yeah, I think like for me, I don't know if it's just because I have a mod view on, but I can see like <laughs> if, like right now L has a little thing with an eye cross, like an eye icon crossed out. So it means that they're not, they're watching without video. <laughs> they just listen to the sultry sound of my voice. As I yawn. I can't see! And you had a mute before too, it seems. gonna go now. Bye, everyone. Have fun. Bye-bye, Fang. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. You can choose to turn it off. Turn that symbol on. Doesn't mean it's muted. Oh, wait, really? Tip it. What are you laughing at? I didn't know that, alright? Grrr. Can I break these boxes? No. The water in this game also looks so good. Bye! Hi, Immortal Code! How's it going? What's good in the hood, my friend? Whoa, we're clipped. Oh my gosh. 
That's so funny. Where does this shortcut go? Way forward is blocked. Why? Oh, stream okay? The, the little thing went just totally red for a second. What's good in the hood is that I'm not in the hood. That can be amended. That sounded a little threatening. <laughs> Getting tired. I don't think we've been over here yet, have we? Evidently not, because there was that seashell available. I think we've been to this island before, though. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, okay, we have. So bring it on if you dare! <laughs> Bite me! Indeed, that can be arranged. I'd fight Pangy, yeah? You wanna go? Let's fucking go right now. Well. I like the size of the island. It feels just well enough size that like I don't get lost, but I also feel like I get to explore, you know? Bought all of his feathers, lol. I'm zooming. You wanna give me the hammer? I'm gonna give- I'm gonna- uh, bop. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna catch these hands. <laughs> Just kidding. I would never fight anyone in chat. It's more fun flapping all the way up, but it is much more efficient to not do that. That's a bizarre shortcut. Bat. <laughs> I feel like Kevin, like, we have a lot of friends that say that, and I just don't know where the habit originated from. Punch the homies, nice. I've done it for years. I mean, I just wonder if it's maybe just a thing that was like around us kids, you know, and I just never paid attention to it. <laughs> Salva reception. Hello? Hi, Claire. Mom! I'm so glad to hear from you. I've been waiting all day to hear from you. I've been worried. Oh, honey, I told you I'd be fine. Yeah, but you always say that. And I always am. Anyway, how have you been? Well, I'm at the top of Hawk Beak right now. Ooh, wow! I love it up there. Man, I used to go up there every summer. It's about time you made it up. Yeah, I know. You're so big now. My little girl's leaving the nest. You won't have my... You won't have any need for a little old mom. But I do need you. I'll never not need you. I heard about the surgery. How come you never told me this was a thing? I didn't want to worry you. But I knew... I know you can get worked up about things. I could have been there for you. Oh. <laughs> You're all alone there now. Really, it was nothing. Everything was fine. I'm just glad you're okay. 
Love you, Mom. Love you too. No. Wait, something's happening. Oh. Was that the famous Hawk Peak updraft? Uh, looks like it. You should catch a ride. You should catch a ride on it now, before it fizzles out. I wanna, but I'm kind of nervous. Claire, you can do it. I'll come visit you soon, okay? Also, don't forget to say to, uh, hi to Aunt May for me. She's probably waiting for you back at the cottage. Bye, love you. Love you too, Bob. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> Shovel. <laughs> that made me tear up when I played. I'm tearing up a little too. I had to wipe some tears, not gonna lie. Oh man. I wonder if at the end it's gonna be like dedicated to mom. From Jen. Oh wow, it's so pretty. She's such a sweet girl. Like all those shells must have been a lot of work. Well actually. Hmm? Never mind. Oh, I remembered something. I found this golden feather in the cabin. I figured you could use it, bro. Thanks! This is weird type. Eh? It's like a reward for delivering the necklace? No, uh by the way, did you make it to the top? Yeah, it was really nice. You can see why you like it so much, though it wasn't exactly a short hike. Really tired. Ha! Huh. Well, maybe that was a bit of an understatement. Only a bit. It's been kind of a busy day. Yeah? What have you been up to? Well, I learned how to fish. Did you now? Yeah, Bill lent me a fishing rod. Of course it was Bill. God damn it, Bill. I don't think I've ever seen him not fishing. Also, I don't mean to brag, but I think I became a beach stick basket, beach stick ball world champion today. What's beach stick ball? It's gonna be the next big thing. It's like volleyball, but with a stick. I'd play that. Oh, I won a parkour race today. Wow, what's a parkour? It's a, like a uh, jumping around and climbing stuff. Sounds fun. Anywho, you hungry? I'm gonna break out the hot dog soon. Oh, I'm kind of tired out. I'm gonna take a nap or something. Righty then. Have a good one. I think it'd be nice to take a break. Sleep. Is this the credits? Oh, <laughs> the end, so abrupt. Okay, I inadvertently, like, just kind of ended the game, but... But yeah, also, I don't think there would be enough of this to do one full other stream anyways, so... I was like, we'll end it now. I'm, I'm, d I'm definitely gonna play this again. Um.
much. Thanks for playing. Man, the person who made this just seems so, like such a chill homie too. Short and sweet. Short and sweet indeed. That was really great. Oh man. Holy crap. Like, wow. I, I cannot get over how like well done like from a like a usability perspective that game was like how how good it was like I didn't even know about the accessibility things to begin with but like camera felt so good the movement felt so good the UI was clean like everything about it just felt so good to play we don't have to like play it again and really digest but I really really enjoyed that uh, it just felt very much of a little. A little bite-sized exploration, just a nice environment to be in. Something in a, a very clearly a therapy kind of game. And like, I'm gonna, I, I am curious about the background, because in mean, the beginning of the game, right when they're driving, it does start with like a very much of a vibes of like Claire needs to get away from the city and be in nature for for what like mental, emotional reasons or physical reasons, one reason or another. But like playing the bass, uh, the the stick beach ball, like that was really really fun. Doing the fishing was really fun. Very much brain empty slice of life type energy. And I think, like, I liked the protagonist a lot, despite the protagonist being very like flat in a in a lot of ways. But like, their their simplicity made them very deep, right? Now hike back down the hill. We already made it back down the hill. Each we flew, come on. The character is so good that you can connect the character and connect with the character in such a short time. Yeah, and like the painter character, like something about it all just felt very real, right? Like very very much like kids at camp. Nothing was overdone and obnoxious cuz sometimes I I get really um, annoyed with that in like a narrative, right, when, like, the characters are trying a little too hard to be edgy, or, like, the writers are too hard, trying a little too hard to, like, make a point with some of the characters and just falls flat, but, like, the, this, the simplicity that these characters had, like, is kind, the simplicity that the narrative has and the simplicity that the characters have is kind of what gave them depth, honestly, um, and, like, made you attach to them. I really liked this. Such a cute game, such a good game. I highly recommend for people who are thinking about playing it. I think, well, I mean, we kind of already just played the entire thing, so, but I think, uh, let me check how much is it on Steam, a short. Because I do remember getting it for, like, five bucks or less. So it's seven ninety nine full price, so yeah, I must have gotten it for four ninety nine when I bought it on sale. Really good though. Really, really, really enjoyed this. Highly recommend. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna take some time and play this again, probably on the weekend. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it for me for today. I am a little tired, as well as I want to brush my teeth. My mouth tastes like ravioli, so cheese. <laughs> More than worth this game. Yeah, very much. I mean, also again, four ninety nine. I mean, the game is short, so they can't really justify asking people to spend like. Twenty dollars on it, but it's it's a really this is a phenomenal. This is like more even than just a game. Like this is like playing this is a phenomenal experience. I think. <laughs> more than word question. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Give me the formioli, indeed, but. Yeah, it's it's a valuable experience. You don't need to be a gamer. You gotta be buying this right now. Yeah, I mean, again, I think um, again, I don't think they'd be able to justify charging twenty bucks for this. But the thing is, also, if I knew how good this thing, if I knew how good this game was, I'd pay. Tw I, mean, I don't. I'd pay twenty bucks for this. This is really fun. But like seven ninety nine full price, that the developer getting scammed. I pay fifteen for it. Yeah, I think realistically, if I if this game was nineteen ninety nine, I'd be like, yo, that's ten dollars per hour of gameplay. <laughs> that might be a little excessive, but I would I would I would pay like fourteen ninety nine nine ninety nine for this. It's phenomenal, very like phenomenal interactive experience.
just done very very well and very po it's like it's another thing is it has like such a high level of polish I was talking to Life Virus the other day about like I'm possibly thinking about buying um, Untitled Goose Game and he's like I don't really know if you'd like it though it's kind of messy in some ways and a little buggy and I'm like buggy and he goes yeah the game is probably jank in a way that you wouldn't like it and I was like we'll see but uh yeah Untitled Goose Game is more expensive it's 20 bucks I yeah We'll see. You should stream that. I love Goose Game. Yeah, it definitely seems like it'd be a fun game to play, but we shall see. Well, now you're talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about buying it and pay it, playing it on today's stream, but then I was like looking at my library and I was like, nah, yeah, I don't want to. I've got some games here to get through, anyways. But yeah, anyways. That's it for me for today. I'm gonna go brush my teeth so I don't taste like ravioli formioli anymore. Thank you everyone for coming by. It's been so nice streaming again for the last week. Been having some real fun. Uh, anyways, next stream is Saturday. We're gonna be back with Kingdom Hearts. Um, yeah, thanks again for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this little little experience and have a good rest of your days. I'll see y'all on Saturday. Bye bye! Da -da -da. <laughs>